that's why we come here, keeping it real ministries. Mm. This, this, this is a big point. This, this, stay calm. Right. This is a big point right here. I want to make sure we get this. Nobody is okay with having a fair weathered friend. You only want to be around them when they got something for you. That's right. When they want you to do something, you ain't nowhere to be found. No. That's right. Period. You look at their phone number and act like you don't see the call. And first thing you say, they, they want something. Yeah. Okay, God. Hallelujah. Mm. I sign my name on that. Mm. This the blessing. The reason they calling you because you got something. Come on. Come on. Don't miss that. Hallelujah. Come on. See, you're already blessed when you can be a blessing. That's right. You should be so glad people calling you and ask you for something. Yes. 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 Let, let it sink in. Let, let it sink in. Let's think about that. They ask you for some food because they know you got some. Mm, come on. Sure would be sad if neither one of you had, had no food. That's right. That's right. They ask you for a ride because they ain't got no ride and you got one. Come on. That's why they calling you. What? Mm. They sad. They, their joy has been taken away for something. The enemy didn't got their joy. They call you, they call me to try to get their joy back because they know that you're a giver of joy. Thank you. Come on. So it's such a it's such a, 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 a gracious feeling to be able to give in such gratitude in that because you got something to what? To give. But the devil twists that around. They're using me. Well, at least they ain't misusing you. That's right. It's one thing to be used. A tool is used. That's right. Right? But there's sometimes misuse of a good tool. Some tools is only made to do certain things, and you'll ruin the tool if you use it for something else. Yeah. That's, right. That's why you got a tool box. Come on. So when people, it's time for people to get help, sometimes you're not the right tool to help them. That's right. You might have to refer them. See, if somebody come and ask me for something I ain't got, but I know where they can get it at. My job is to give them some direction and show them where to get it at. See, some things I can't get them, only Jesus can get it to them. Ah. See, some of them I, gotta, I ain't the right tool for them. But, but I, they need Jesus, not me. But if I don't answer the phone, I don't talk to them, how can I give them instructions on how to get what they need? That's what Moses did. That's what he did. He did that. He told them how to, what God wanted. See, a lot of times we want some things, we want to help, but sometimes it's out of our scope. Of helping people, we try to be God in their life. Oh, come on! And when that happens, guess what happens? You gonna be in real trouble trying to be God. Ooh we. Yes. That's a tough job. Yes, it is. You gonna really be sick. I know about y'all, but I didn't got real sick before trying to be God in somebody else's life. Can't sleep or nothing. I can't get no rest in peace because I ain't turning you over to God. Didn't give you the structures of God. I want to people please and do everything for you. And, and the bottom line, it ain't enough. No matter what I give, it ain't enough. And you ain't ready to hear. So I need to let you go and let God deal with you. Because if I don't, I ain't going to get no sleep. I like to rest in peace. It's a sad thing when you can't get no rest. Because you're worried about it. See, sometimes you can't help certain people. That's right. You're not the right tool for them. It's, you got to refer them to God. That's right. You got to give them the word of God. Yes. See, they want every, sometimes people would help me. Even in my, we want everything but the word. Right. Yep. We want everything but direction. We want, we want all the physical stuff to go along with it. I, you know, I don't need this, this, and that. Just give me this, this, and that. All that stuff you talking about, that preaching you doing, I don't need all that. Give me some money. So the best that we can give the people is what? The word, the word of God. God. Word now, this is what Jesus did. I want, I want y'all to be calm on this one because it's, we don't need to howl a lot on this one, right? 
and you listen. Learn to listen, listen to learn, right? So when Jesus uh, did miracles, right, he would always give them something on the material or do something for them physically. But that was all a setup to get the word of God. The multitudes came. They ain't come to hear Jesus. They came for the fish and the bread. They needed a fish sandwich and some Kool-Aid and some hot sauce. <laughs> no, for real, though. You know, he was feeding. Yeah. But, but then, he did, then, then we really remember, man should not live by what? Bread alone. Every word that proceeds out the mouth of God. So after he fed them, then he just he then he started feeding them the word. Yes, yes he did. Right. Every time he did a miracle, he do the miracle first, and then he'll give them the what the word. Yep. He'll heal them and then give them the what the word. Yep. So what happens is God gonna give us provision to give people. But don't forget to give them the word. See, sometimes when they get hungry enough physically, it's hard to hear when you're hungry. Okay, okay. Right. You sleeping, you ain't had a place to stay in a long time. You sleeping on the streets. You know, it's hard to hear somebody talking to you when you tired. Are y'all with me? Yes. So sometimes we got to give them a place to stay first, give them a shower, get some shoes on their feet, give them something to eat. Then we can give them the word of God because now they're comfortable enough to hear the word of God. Yes. Right? But you can't give them too much. Right. Can't give them too much. Yes. Can't handle so much. Give them their what? Daily bread. Are y'all with me? Yeah. What? I'm showing sure how we going to work with each other, give each other the word, how we going to sharpen each other up and get each other better and give it out to them because if we don't do it right, right, can't cast your pearls among swine because what they're going to do, they're going to rid you. They're going to stick you in the back. All right. Right, right. So, so you give them just enough to get the word of God, but you learn that through what? Discipleship. That's right. God bless you all. Glad y'all came out. Right? You give it through what? Discipleship. Right? And you got to know how to disciple and do it the right way. So Moses, getting instruction from God, he been leading the children of Israel, which is an honorary bunch. Yes, honorary. <laughs> <Andre. laughs> Stiff neck. <Andre>. Rough bunch. <laughs> Just like us. That's right. See, we, we work with each other, and we are, whoa, we are an honorary bunch. We rough. Ooh, we. <laughs> Ooh, we, we, we got to get instruction from God. Better. We got to get power from God to work with each other. Better. It ain't going to happen unless we do that because we're going we gonna to split all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> oh I don't even want to see you. Come on. <laughs> Nowhere. Come on. See, if you ain't got God, that's what happens. Yeah. But when you got Jesus Christ, your life in the word of God, you have something called humility, yeah. understanding. Yeah. You have patience, yeah. tolerance, yeah. because you got love. Yeah. Love. Hmm? That's the, that's the order of the day when you got Jesus Christ. This is what Moses had for the people. He had love for the people. That's right. He had love for who? For God. <clears throat> and he went a long way. It's called, it's called, it's called, it's called uh, long suffering. Long suffering. See, when you moving close to the God, you're going to have to have some what? Long suffering. You're going to have to have some what? Some patience. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what he said about patience. God is, this word of God is like a lamp unto your feet, a light for your path. It's just, it's just so delicious. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. And what he, just what he, just what he, he said, lean not to your own understanding. And all thy ways and not me, and I shall what? Direct thy path. My word is a lamp unto your feet. I'll guide you wherever you want to go, wherever you need to go. I want to send you, I'm going to show you how to get there. Right. He said, he said, well, this word I got to give you is profitable. Yes. It's come up word. Yeah, come up. And ain't going to be blow up. Ain't going to be no yeast in it. No <laughs> yeast. <laughs> It's going to be the real deal. No, come on. I'm not going to give you no dummy. I ain't going to give you nothing that ain't don't work. Come on. I'm God. Oh, wait, wait. So he, what he's trying to tell us is that I'm going to give you everything you need to complete the mission. You don't have to worry about it because as you go, I'm going I'm to put you in the right path because a righteous man is what? Path is all about who? God. So I'm going to put you in the right path and pick up what you need. Are you with me, though? Go and eat it, right? So, so wherever you go, I'm going to have what you need there. That's right. You ain't got to take nothing with you. You ain't got to know where you at. Know you in the mountain. It's, you can't see nothing. The clouds up there, and you know it's rough around here. You're in rough terrain, Come pastor. Come on. You don't know where the money coming from the next 15000 you need for the month for here. Come on. 
You don't know what the next 45,000 you need overall. Come on. Okay, y'all, y'all just think. Come on. You don't know how they're going to change because they ain't changed in a long time. Come on. I'm talking about me. You got your own experiences. And you keep on putting one foot in front of the other. Keep on. And he keep on providing for you daily. daily. Ain't no what if this happened, what if that happened. Ain't no what else with God. He's the planner. Ain't no what ifs with him. See, we like like the what ifs. What if this happened? What if that happened? What? It don't matter what happened. It's all a sound from God in any way. God made the mountain. God made Moses. God made the cloud. It was all set up. He sent. He the one sent Moses in the basket. That's right. He been taking care of us from 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 our conception. Yes. Come on, preacher. Come on. He know the plans he have for me. I'm Jeremiah. He know the plans he have for me. That's right. Quit, quit bucking. Stop bucking, man. You came in with nothing anyway. What you trying to hold on to? Mind. Don't nothing belong to you no way. Come on. You missing sleep and everything on a what if. Come on. Driving yourself nuts on a what if. Come on. With everything cushy right now. Right now. Well, okay, okay. Can I prove it to you? You in the hospital? No. You got somewhere to sleep tonight? No. Yes. yes. You got some food to eat? Yes. You got too much food. You got five or six different kind of drinks. Amen. You got cash and a card. Come on. Come on. And a vehicle to go get it with. Yes, come on. Got so many clothes, you don't know what you got. You're buying them twice. Come on. They got a thousand blue shirts, Pastor. <laughs> Give me another one. Come on. You can't, I can't. Sometimes be grateful right now by worrying about the what if down the line. Come on. Ooh, that's cold. See, 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 when you know God is who he say he is, and when Moses went up there, and after all the things God had done, the people forgot. That's, that's why they made the golden calf, because they forgot, they forgot who God was, or they didn't have enough patience to wait on God. That's right. They've always been an impatient people. As soon as they weren't even that hungry yet. And they talking about, where the man that you brought her to die? He said, wait a minute, I'm still God. Manna from heaven. Hey, there's a red sea right there. I need you to open it up right now. Do something. What you going to do, God? He said, I'm God. Moses, what you got in? Open it up. He said, we thirsty. We thirsty. We need something to drink. And your, your stomach, they, 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 they weren't that thirsty, but they was, like, what, they was wondering what going to happen. What if? We don't get no one. He said, hit the rock, Moses. Bam. Yeah. Don't you remind you of somebody? Yeah. Don't you remind you of somebody? Don't you remind you of somebody? It reminds me of me. God, God, I got everything I need, and I'm worried about what I ain't going to get. Come on, come on. I mean, I got legs, and I'm tripped out about a car. Come on. I got a bus pass and legs. And somebody gave me a bike. And I'm whining about I ain't got no car. Everybody else got a car. You ain't ready for no car. Last time you had a car, what you do? Yeah. You traded it in for me. Come on. So you need to ride the bus and wait on me for a little while. Build some character. Yeah. Build some spiritual maturity while you're riding the bus. Do some witnessing on the bus. Because when you get your car, you must not, you're going to forget how to witness if I give you the car too quick. That's right. Either you're going to catch the pass or you're not. Yeah. You're in the game. The pass being thrown to you. Yeah. Are you going to catch it or not? At least try to catch it. Come on. He'll bless you on trying to catch the pass. Right. Right. I'm just saying, though, this is practical application, y'all. It's not, it's not an easy message to preach. It's not an easy message to preach, y'all. It requires you to do something. 
we have to trust God. Yes. Faith means trusting God. Yes. If you have faith in God, you have to trust God. How you get closer to God is by trusting God. When you look at the word closer to God, you know, wait, wait a minute. I'm not God, but I'm God-like. So, so, so being closer to God means I start to become more like God. Now, who is God? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who am I supposed to be like? Well, as I'm being like God and getting close to God, I'm coming to become more like God. After all, I am one of his sons. Yes, yes. So what kind of stuff do God do? Come on. Do God lie? No. Do God worry about stuff and things? No. no. Why? Because he got everything already. If I'm God, God's son, cattle of a thousand hills is thine. Thine. I should have some cattle. That's right. He made everything on the, on the earth for me to have dominion over it. So as I become closer to God, I worry about things less. That's right. Come on. Say that. Say that again. I'm more interested in the kingdom of God and building that idea of the things. Come on. I'm not worried about the end result. I'm more into the journey. I'm more into what I'm doing right now. Not what's happening here because he already wrote the end. He don't write from right to left. He write from left to right. He know the end. Yeah. He already know the end. Why don't worry about the end part? He already know it. What I need to do is enjoy where I'm at right now, the going up the mountain and the coming down. Stay in it. In it to win it, no matter what's going on. Y'all know that. Y'all know that language. You're from the streets. You know what they tell you, Lewis. Brother Lewis, they tell you, be in it to win it. Didn't they say you that? And then the world, then you have to have some heart, man. Nobody want to roll with you if you ain't had no heart. Come on. Then we get up in, up in the church, turn life to Christ, so to speak, and have no heart for God. Come on. Talk crazy, talk, 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 won't do nothing. Shoes to get tough, run off. Well, what are we building here? Soldiers. You got to hear it like this. Gave our life to everything else. Was mad because we couldn't get it. Come on. You missed that one. Come on. Mad because you couldn't get it. Why you ain't call me? I want to go. Now. Rob the blank, rob the jewelry store. Why you ain't let me go? Why y'all ain't tell me what y'all was going to do? Be mad because they ain't. Invite you to kill yourself. Oh, come on. Come on now. Well, well, we ain't got but five more minutes. You know we stop at nine. We ain't got but five more minutes. You, you, five more minutes of lacerations. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the word cut you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Questions for you. What mountains... Do you need to climb? Come on. You ain't gotta Come tell on. me. You ain't gotta tell me. You ain't gotta say this. Listen, I wish you could write it down. Where is the nearest hill you can ascend to and recapture the glory of a loving God? Good questions. When Moses reached the mountain top, it was covered by a cloud. Moses remained in the cloud for 40 days. Let's let us know right now. Whatever cloud you, whatever mountain you're trying to climb, it might take a little while. And you might not know what's going on for a little while, but you got to have some faith now. Don't, don't leave yet. Because it's cloudy, you ain't got your answer yet, don't stop. Working in the kingdom of God and doing what God has already told you to do. Don't give up. Stay sturdy in your faith. Don't turn back to Egypt. Don't turn back to the, the vomit. Going back to your old sins like dog returning to his vomit. You know what the Bible say? Wait on God. And the Bible say if you wait on God, he'll do what? Renew your strength. He said, not I'm going to renew your strength, I'm going to mount you up. Like eagle with wings, you're going to run and not get weary. You're going to walk and not faint. That's a promise. If you just stay with me and be patient and wait on me, I got you. I'm going to make you better than you've ever been before. For my name's sake. 
so you can be better at building the kingdom of God, so you can be better at giving a testimony, so you can be better at helping somebody get saved. I'm going to make you a wise fisherman. You got to go through something first. You got to wait on me. Let me make you. I know you're going through. I know you don't know which way to go, and you're kind of confused, but, but, but stay where you're at. If you don't know where to go, don't move. He was in there. He was up there. He didn't know where to go. He seen the clouds. He just stood there. Okay, what's going on? Then God said, here I am. That's what he said. Here I go. Yeah. Took a little while for him to say something, but he said something. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a little while for God to tell you what to do next. Sometimes you can't do nothing. Stay still and know that I'm God. Huh? Yeah. I got you. Yeah. My God, my God, my God. Okay. Yeah. We, we almost done. We show sure is. I don't know. We did some good eating tonight. Yes, we did. See, sometimes we got to live temporarily in a fog and not know what's going on. Sometimes we got to do that. See, I know, I know right now, I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to keep doing what he told me to do. Yeah. Come on. You know, sometimes I don't even care. What, 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 okay, all I know is you've been coming through all the time. I don't know what you're going to do next, but I know it's going to be good. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere else. Yeah. I'm going to stand on it. No matter what happened, sometimes you got to be in the fall for a long time and not be able to see your way and know what's going on, man. It get rough sometimes. Yes. Especially when you're dealing with people. Yes. Come on. You, know, you get scared. What if they die? Come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then God will answer that question for you. If they know me, they're going to heaven. Yeah. Come on. What if you die? You know me, you're going to heaven, right? That's right. Come on. What if? What if? What if? What if? I lose my job. Well, uh, one door closes, another one opens. That's right. Yep. Be still. Don't stop going to church, though. No. They'll fire you on a whim. Mm -hmm. When one door closes, another one opens. God knows what's best for you. Sometimes God takes stuff out of our life to give us something better. Yes. That's right. We might be in a fog a long time before, before we get the better. Yeah, that's, come on. But that's the test right there. Yeah. Not the tempting, but the test. To see if you're going to turn back to Egypt and make a golden calf because you got to wait a little time. Come on. Yeah. And he already know what you're going to do. Yeah. Yeah. You got to know where you're at with God. That's right. God know everything. He know when you ain't all the way in with him. So he give you the test so you can see where you're at. Yes. Yes. And see what you need to do to get better. Okay. The teacher give you a test. They know you ain't been paying attention in class already. They know you've been cheating off people's papers. They've been watching you. What? They give you the test. They got all the answers. It's a bubble test. You do the bubble test. You get it back. You didn't miss half the questions. Teacher already know you ain't been applying yourself. Right? Right? So now the teacher go back and say, now this is what we're going to need to do to correct this. First of all, you need to come to class. Be awake when you come. You're going to need some special education because you got some learning disabilities here in there. Nothing wrong with that. We all do sometimes. Yes. Right? You got to start reading your book. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This is where you at. If you want to come from a D to a, a B or an A, you're going to have to start applying yourself. See, God already know you at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So when he gives you the test, he already know you're going to flunk. <laughs> come on. Come on. Right? So then after you flunk, then he's going to tell you, you have not been following directions. I'm going to help you, Holy Ghost. I'm going to help you to follow the directions. You fuck because you're back in the penitentiary. Come on. You fuck because you lost a job. They didn't fire you. You failed to communicate and cooperate. Come on. And you were dishonest. So now you ain't got a job. So this we're gonna do to help you get a job and keep it this time. Okay. 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 And when you learn the skill and get the character building that necessary. God going to do that through discipleship. I'm, I'm going to end with this. Look, check this out. With discipleship, check this out. If you learn how to win souls, learn that. See, a wise man, wise men when win souls. You become a soul winner. You don't win everywhere else. Yeah, come on. I'm going to say it again. You become a soul winner. Learn how to win souls, you're going to be very wise. And you use them same principles in everywhere else. Goes back to Matthew 6 and 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all the things shall be added unto you. The same principles you use to win souls, the same principles you use to do business, 
your marriage, your family, every area of your life is the same principles. It's, winning souls is not easy. You have to have spiritual principles to win souls. You got to have a lot of love to win souls, man. Because, see, we deal with people that are ourselves, which is so undisciplined, it's been badly made by the devil for so long. And then we expect them to be perfect when we try to help them get saved or we try to help them after they get saved. We expect them to be perfect sometimes. We expect them not to make no mistakes. We take it personal when they are not developed yet. It's like taking a baby personal. Hear me. I need to hear this myself. You know, a baby, you can't take a baby personal everything they do. They don't know no better. They right. But we try to make them think, well, they should know better. You're 50 years old. But you ain't 50 years old spiritually. Come on. You make you still thinking like a child. So I gotta have some patience with you. I gotta give you a chance to develop. And I can't leave you. I gotta keep on working with you. I might have to let you run away, but when you come back, I can't say I'm through with you. If I can't help you in a certain area, I, I need to refer you to somebody that's got as better qualified than I am. I got to give you the word of God no matter what, whether you like me or not. Learn how to win souls and everything else is going to work out. And you'll learn that you don't need as much you think you need on the physical, on the material. See, we done based our happiness and joy on the material. And if we don't have the material like somebody else, then we, we sad, some of us. We depressed. We need to smoke something. To feel better. That's why I said we. We need to eat something. That's my favorite thing. And that's my golden calf. Don't miss that. My golden calf sometimes is food. You know, the other night I said, you know, I mean, it was rough the other day. I had a rough day. I said, you know what? I was in there working, doing something with them. I said, all of a sudden, you know, I had a vision of a banana split. <laughs> No, no, y'all know I ain't playing. <laughs> banana split. I need a banana. And guess what God said? No, you don't need no banana split. You need me. That's why we come here. Keep it a real ministry. Mm, yeah. And if you want to be the best, you can be the best that God ever made. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best that God.